Welcome to SND, I'm JR, and today we are downtown Victoria at the Inner Harbour at the Flying Otter. Now, it's great weather in October, so we figured let's get while the getting's good and mm -hmm. come to a nice scenic thing before the bad weather comes in and it rains for basically six months straight. Now, mm -hmm. the Flying Otter Grill, we couldn't find a ton of information on it. I believe it started in, was it 2005? No, 2009. 2009. Um, I, th I think that they've changed barges. It's a floating restaurant. I don't know if this is the original building, but it might be. Um, and there is some sort of affiliation with Harbor Air. So the Flying Otter and the Flying Beaver. Yes. Now, they named it after the actual planes that they use. The De Havilland, there's the Beaver, there's the Otter, and there's the Twin Otter. Um, and I believe that some of them either used to be built or they are built at Viking Air uh, at the Victoria Airport. I think they're just maintained now and they actually have a different manufacturing plant. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But that's where they got the name up for the Flying Otter. Now today I'm going to be doing the uh, Sirloin Harburger. Get it? Harburger? Harburger? We get, we get it. Um, we get it. And I'm not too sure what everyone else is going to get, but I know that there will be probably chicken wings involved, mm -hmm. probably uh, some Canadian salad. Otherwise, yes, no I love Canadian salad. Poutine. But yeah, I think um, I think that's all the information I have for Harbor Air. Oh, there's a plane taking off in the background. I don't know if you could see. I don't think we can quite see. But anyways, yeah, it's kind of cool down here on the Inner Harbor. Uh, beautiful sights, planes coming and going, the Harbor taxi as well. So let's go in, let's get some food, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to come out and we're going to tell you about it. Come on. So here we have the chicken wings, lightly breaded and tossed with your choice of seasoning. We went with a salt and pepper and a honey garlic. Now over to the poutine, french fries, cheese curds, gravy, also topped with crumbled bacon and green onions. Over to the sirloin burger a handcrafted six ounce all beef burger with house-made mayo, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle on a brioche bun with a side of fries. Now the fries, you actually had to order separately. When you order it first, it just comes as a burger. It doesn't come with a side. And I do like the name, Har Burger, get it? Har Burger? Yeah. <laughs> all right, we have just come out of the Flying Otter and had our meals. Now you saw um, what we had with a quick voiceover. So let's get the first thing out of the way. Let's get the chicken wings out of the way. What did you think of the chicken wings? The salt and pepper ones that we had were crispy. They were pretty good. I like them. Now you did test, get a taste test of the other chicken wings. The yeah. honey, honey garlic honey ones. Honey garlic. What did you think of those? Those were not good. Those were not good at all. They were, they were really fatty. It's almost like they weren't cooked enough. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. Um, so I liked the salt and pepper wings. Yeah. I didn't like the honey garlic ones. Like I said, they seem more fatty or just not cooked enough yeah. to get like, you crisp them and then put the sauce on it. It seems like they weren't crispy when the sauce went on. Yeah, maybe. Which is kind of weird. So if you're going to have breaded chicken wings, um, yep. Oh, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way too. So the last time I was at this restaurant, you would actually go in and sit at a table and you would have a server come up, take your order and whatnot. I understand that now the process has changed and I can see why they would have changed, you know, due to COVID and whatnot. So now it's, it's kind of like, um, you're going into a cafeteria. So you go up to a little desk menus behind there, um, kind of like a McDonald's and you order your food, you take a number and you sit at the table. And it's kind of weird because I mean, if you go online and look at the menu, it's a lot more descriptive. Um, when you go to the store, it's basically just sirloin burger chicken burger whatever yeah. like it, it literally is kind of like a, a cafeteria or a mcdonald's and it's it kind of seems like if you did do it for that if you change the process because of covid and that was just a more convenient way to get people and and social distancing or whatnot um i understand that but switch back now it takes away from the experience <laughs> if you sure. did if you did change it that way and you think that's a good process it isn't <laughs> um it doesn't make for a good experience I could see because it's a seaplane terminal, maybe people coming and going is fast, but if you kind of want people to, to come and sit down at your restaurant and, and enjoy the experience, I, I would I would not recommend that process. Yeah, we didn't get refills on our drinks. Yeah, we re there's not really much attention given to the table other than you get your food brought to you once and, and that's the last time you see somebody. Yeah. So we've done the chicken wings. 
you had the poutine, the yep. Canadian salad? It was, it was good. It was good poutine. I mean, it's hard to mess that up. I think the fries are what they call double, double fried. Right. So they fry them once and then they fry them again. I now I know some people like that style of fry. I find them quite dry. Right. I, so I wasn't a huge fan of my French fries. Um, I had your poutine. It was okay. Well, I think the the gravy helped a lot. But you're right. Like your French fries were really dry. Yeah, and now uh, to the sirloin burger. So the sirloin burger was fifteen dollars, and then you added bacon, and then you added cheese, and you added fries because it doesn't come with a side. I was just getting to that. <laughs> so and that brought the burger itself up to like twenty dollars, and then you had to add fries. It didn't come with a side. So uh, what you saw me have there, that was like a twenty six, twenty seven dollar yeah. meal. Was it worth that? I mean, I want to be kind, but no, it wasn't. Um, so I didn't really enjoy my fries. The burger, I, I really debated, I couldn't tell. I don't think it was a handmade patty. Um, the first couple of bites, it just had that frozen patty taste. So even if they did hand make it, I think they must have frozen it. Yeah. Um, again, not flash cooked at a high enough temperature. Uh, it seems like a lot of places don't do that. And for the size of it, I mean, I mean, if I was gonna rate this burger, uh, you know, I'm gonna say 7.9. Oh. Uh, it just, for the price and, and the burger itself, it just doesn't, just, it didn't cut it for me. I mean, there's so many better places. Like last week we went to Glow, and I mean, it's a place that's not a burger place, but there they had a really decent burger for around the same price, actually, but you got a side. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of give or take in that sense. Um, oh, we got a plane starting up. So it's gonna get really loud. Um, I, so yeah, so 7.9 for the sirloin burger. I also wanted to point out for you eagle-eyed viewers, I don't know if you remember, but across the way, Julius Reginald the third. That's where he did his show. <laughs> I swear to God, I saw him going into the Empress um, when we were walking over here. So, so you might see him again soon. I know he said he was going to do the Empress. I don't know. He was going to do tea. So I love. Maybe tea. we could look forward to that show. Anyways, it's getting really loud, so we're going to wrap it up, and we'll see you next time on SND.